Ta-da! Official buzzard here, and today is a snow day. We're joined by our faithful companion pine cones on a beautiful day in the wilderness. Say hello to all the fun people of YouTube. Yeah? Yeah. The oh. one nice thing is that it's fluffy snow. I'm not wearing snowshoes, but I have invested in a beautiful pair of value brand crampons. I had to come wander over here. I spent a lot of time out here in the backyard, as I like to call it. Stumbled across the new tree stand. Who's, if I make it to it, might this be? Not too bad a spot, but there's another tree stand right over there. Might cause some conflicts next season. The worst part is, I can literally see the other tree stand from here. It's about 40 yards away. Look what I found. Ding, ding, ding. Right up this bad boy to the top. Turn around, say, what way are you looking? I can literally stare at that other tree stand from here. That right there is a little sketchy. Just about an hour into our journey, I can tell you, getting a good workout today in the, uh, oh, I don't know, four inches of snow maybe. One nice thing about hiking with pine cones is I never need to worry about where I'm going. Shelby seems to know exactly where we're going. Take a look over here to the right side of the screen. You'll see a nice little stream coming through. Winter has widened the stream. Oh, and that's why we're going to be careful. Perfect example. Man, it's just beautiful walking out here today. Nice. <laughs> when you don't slide. But, nice view of the trees all up around us here. Snowflakes falling. It's a gentle little uh, snowstorm. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this uh, birch here. Wonderful, wonderful fire starter. Highly recommend it. Go ahead and pocket some of this for later. Generally speaking, you're not going to need this much, but considering the snow, I'd rather have a little extra. Oh, you can't beat the view from right here, but I don't think this would be a good spot. Despite the prospect of a warm fire, our buddy Pinecones has insisted we head back. As is her will, Back we head. With the dogs safely back in the house, warm and dry, we can continue our adventure. Deeper into the woods we wander, through the whispering firs, and pines, and hardwoods. We have a decision to make. For what goes up must come down, also, goes the other way. I say let's do it. Going down. <sighs> Woo. A little tumble like that could have been a whole hell of a lot worse. Considering our layer of clothing and lack of rips, I'm going to assume a bruised elbow is the worst we've got. But let's reassess this path to see if continuing is worth the risks. Earlier, we had wandered through some swampy areas with a little bit of mud. And it appears as if our crampons weren't biting in so well. Um, they're fixed now but I'm still not sure about this. Let's uh, proceed with caution here. Going up isn't going to be too big of a deal, but going down can certainly be treacherous. So in regards to that last uh, little doozy of a fall, we can ascertain that despite the great value of our value mart, 
crampons, there is one major setback, and that is the lack of spikes on the heel portion of the crampon. Oh, the noon whistle just blew. Kind of eerie out here in the middle of the woods to hear it. That old air raid siren. But that means we've been on the trail here for 30 minutes since we last dropped off the dog. Getting pretty close to our final destination. We have arrived at the river and are greeted with fog or limited visibility, considering it's snowing. I'll call it snow fog. Fun fact, this marker here marks the land boundary of one of the many small farms and leases that dotted this property dating back just over a hundred years ago. What a view. As we were walking along here, something very out of place caught my eye. Just up the trail from that, well, trail, build your own trail from that landmark. Check this out. Looks to me like we've got the remains of an old hunting camp. Long since forgotten what appears to be the remains of a fire pit. And what I can only assume was their shelter. Oh, with a beautiful view of the state park sign they've most likely stole. Oh, I'm all for coming out here and enjoying the wilderness. It's kind of nice if you pick up after yourself and keep the land clean for the rest of us. Roughly five minutes later. I think this is going to be the spot for today's campfire. Nice little view of the river from afar. Ample wood. Pack hanger? Doesn't get much better than that. So the first thing we've done is create a nice little raised platform. It's going to do two things. It's going to keep our uh, kindling, initial fire, up off the ground and give it a little bit of air from down below to help feed the flame. You'll remember from earlier that we gathered a pretty good handful of birch clippings. So we're going to go ahead and introduce that into the mix right now. And voila! Fire is stoked. Set yourself up with a nice little auto cooker. Some soup. Oh, this is good. It's always nice to have a little bit of ketchup or mustard with you too. Just spice things up. If you're a real wild child, you can always do a little bit of this right here. Dip your dog right in there. Yeah. Can't really say it's snowing any more or less than it was before. But it's definitely taking a toll on our fire. Making it a little tough to keep her going. Oh, we've burnt down to a nice little pile of smoldering ashes. I give it a little bit of time here to die out, cover it with snow, and head back home. It's been four hours since we uh, first set off this morning. Doesn't look like we're going to get our ten inches. Um, I don't know how much we have now. Maybe six total. <sighs> Figured I'd take a break here. On our way up, look at this nice little canopy of fur. It's amazing how much snow they can hold, huh? Snowing a little harder. All right, we're gonna get this trip in motion. Unfortunately for me, phone battery can't keep up with my hiking antics. It's funny how just a little bit of snow can make all the difference. This last little section here, actually, had to climb up on all fours just to make it. Might have to invest in some better crampons. We made it back to the flats. We didn't forget any of our gear. Microphone survived. I'd call this a successful journey. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, this is Official Buzzard.